Salida was real honest with y'all. Can I be honest with y'all too? Not for real. Can I be like real honest with y'all? Good, because that's what this is called. It's called to be honest. Um, to be honest, sex was never a problem for me. It was all so innocent. It seemed. <coughs> See, it all started for me with a closed door and exposed horrors on bright screens. My bad, my bad. I mean, misguided females doing horrorous things. It's a shame to find out that the true whore was me. I was the one prostituting myself, giving in to everything that said, click me or come see. And unfortunately, it drew me in so easily. I could see it now, there was me. Supposedly a godly teen, but struggling with something that's so much bigger than he is. See his temptation was to sneak his little behind in the dark rooms, get online and seek his perfect image. And what works for him is a woman that uses her body to work for livings. He didn't see anything wrong with treating women like they were employees of the minute. I was about to get obscene in a minute. I seen scenes so vivid, not even my weakened vision could keep me from sinning. It soon turned from a weakened thing into a secret that I couldn't keep keeping in. I knew something was missing. But I kept searching and clicking, thinking that one of these girls could make me feel something different. None of them did it. And soon what was virtual turned to a reality. I thought I was through. That had to be it. But the same sin carried over and grabbed me again. The same image of women and me giving myself to any of them that even looked in my direction. I may have been in need of emotional protection, but sex was never a problem for me. I ain't go all the way. Well, let me explain. You remember your first marijuana kiss? You know, the one that was like the gateway drug to other bodily addictions? See, it started off simple, but now when it's not around, you have them withdrawal symptoms. See, I never meant to get high. I only needed a puff every now and then to get me by. But after a while, it seems like it wouldn't even feel right unless I laced it with a little some extra to fill time. And while my kiss is slowly to turn into touches, as my mind rested on the fact that she was on her back, while I slide closer and closer to her virginity, voices screaming within me, she's not yours. Don't touch her, leave her alone. But I ain't listening. All that was on my mind was trying to find a new position to sit in so I could somehow find what I was searching for. How could I have missed it? Wait, let me try that again. No, that's not it. There must be more. I see that she's searching, but I already know I don't have what she's looking for. But I can't let her know. I can't let her go, because if I do, I have to go back to the way things were. But I was lonely before her. So this must be right. Bodies intertwined, however, slightly nervous, because I think I just heard some footsteps in the distance. Shh. Or maybe it was just the wind. Or maybe it was just a sin that was rushing in, but I wasn't worried, because sex was never a problem for me. I knew what not to do. I read the card, I would not have sex before marriage, and if I already have, I would never go at it again. Sign my name with a pen, but what it didn't explain was all the sensuous ways that the hips would say, and what the lips would say. See, the problem for me was that neither pregnancies or threat of diseases could hold me back from it. I was grappling with deeper things. I soon realized I needed something other than me for this, so I pleaded with Christ to went to see for it, but before I could blink, I was right back in, same sin, same thing again, same women friend around me mingling, back to the same kisses, which led me right back to the same issues. Closed door, exposed pores, closed phone to the floor. How dare I have the audacity? I had to deal with Jesus asking me, are you the pimp or is she the hoe? Is anything planted outside of my will can I grow? But instead of listening to Jesus, we just lay down. Slow. Ain't that how it go? So I guess to be honest, sex has always been a problem for me. I have been having unprotected sex in my mind since the age of 13, where I conceived premarital lies and contracted spiritually transmitted disease. It hurts to think of all the girls that's been infected by me. I finally came to the point where I fell face flat on the floor. This can't be there. This can't be all there is to life. There had to be more. I had to do something different. I had to get back to my vision. God is living in me. I have to get back to right living. I thought I was the one writing my own script, and I thought I had real life when it was really just fiction. 
Mm. I had to let God take the pen from my hand and compose me a new composition. He had to show me what godly penmanship is. Mm. But don't be fooled. See me as a Christian. I'm not yet well written. I'm just spelled different. Mm. <laughs> so I guess the thing is, for me, what made the difference is when I finally admitted that sex was a problem for me. So be honest with me. How many of y'all can honestly say sex is not a problem for you?